So let's begin training. So we are going to use Anaconda prompt and assume that you have already all the environments uh, ready. So you can also check on the EMV list and check what other environments you have. I'm going to use ML Agent 2. If you uh, don't know how to set up the environment, uh, just go back and check uh, my previous tutorial about train your first AI in Unity using ML Agent. So you will be able to have the environment ready. Um, and once you have that, you don't have to uh, install or make your environment over and over again. You can just use that environment. Then uh, just always come back and say conda activate and activate the environment that you need. So I'm going to use agent number two environment. And once I'm inside there, um, I'm going to um, navigate to a folder. Um, so I have uh, this Emma agent release three uh, zip files, which was a uh, which it responds to uh, to the package that I imported. That is 1.0.2. So it's the same package. Obviously, you don't. Uh, you you might change your own uh, version. Uh, that is my combination. So for that version, they were using ML agents 1.7.1. So you need to check their document, which. Uh, which PIP uh, an agent file that they are using. Um, in my case, these are my uh, combination. Um, I also have this file inside, so you can use my combination as well. And then um, what I'm doing is I, I, uh, I have unzipped this file and I placed it inside my documents. Inside my documents, I have ML agents folder. And if you have different release, you can uh, put it here. I feel like it's uh, a good position and safe. And I have all my files here. And all the uh, example files are inside here, uh, inside the project. And this is the ML agent examples. So if you, if you import this folder, you will see all the examples and all the examples are using this config PPO, these YAML files. So um, you don't want to make the YAML files from scratch. You want to always check. The best way is to check if you're a beginner, um, check which example files are the most similar to what you want to achieve and learn that and just copy their YAML file and then tweak it. Um, yeah, so there was a, um, a example file called Robert Reacher which is very similar. It's, it's, all, uh, it's called Reacher, yeah. So um, you can also like just copy that and tweak that version as well. So for me, um, I have copied it and just tweaked from there. Uh, in this case, um, I'm going to, I, I am sharing my YAML file. Uh, in case you want to change the name and change your YAML file, change the configuration and stuff. So, if you want to do any changes, uh, feel free to do that. But what's, once you need to make sure is uh, you need to match few names. So if you go to your ML agent setup here, the behavior name should be corresponding to your YAML file. Yeah. Uh, so always, I just decided to compile all my YAML files in this folder. So if I have future uh, files, I just copy paste. So I suggest you to also copy paste this here and direct your training to look at this file. 
So if you wanna make any changes to this, just double click. Uh, this will either open open up from Visual Studio or Py, Py, uh, PyChar. And make sure that you have to change this. So you can also edit this in a note, notepad, a note editor. Uh, so anyways, any text editor uh, program, you can edit this, make sure the file name and so this name and this thing and this thing is corresponding. No, uh, no spelling mistake or cap case uh, mistake. Okay. So this you can just copy paste from me and place it wherever you want. In my case, I placed it in my document and PPO folder. Um, and I'm going to let the resulting trained brains to be saved here, under here. So I'm going to use this folder, Control C, and direct my training to that folder, CD, Control V. So I'm inside this folder and whatever you're training, the result will be saved here inside the results folder. So uh, for that, uh, we are going to say M ML agent learn. And then we are going to go to that config PPO, this folder, control C, and I'm going to control V and find that robot reacher YAML, control C, control V, like that, and space and say run, ID and you can set a name that you want. So in my case, maybe I will, I'm gonna say robot number six, train number six. Okay. And just say enter. Go back to our training area. Okay, we see the Unity icon, which is great. So it's asking me to start training. So I will start the training now. Okay, so there's something wrong about those balls because the balls are not using the uh not using the 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 local uh transform transform uh so we go to the script we go to richer goal okay oh not this so in the richer robot and you remember how we were copying this to each and every joints. We have to control C that and add that to this guy. So the goal position should be using the parent's position. Okay, that's it. Let's go back and see. Let's go. Back and see. Do the same thing. So always just typing those are uh, a lot of work, isn't it? So I have already. Um, I'm always uh, making a text file. I also save that as a txt file here. And I just copy paste. So of course you will have to change the this directory according to your file, of course. But let's say I have it activated, so I don't need to activate it again. I'm there. I'm going to just use the same control C, control V, 
And now I'm going to train number seven. Okay, now I should start. Okay, now the balls are generated in correct position. And you sometimes see the blue flashing, which means they're touching and they're getting reward. And let's see, after a while, they should return us some reward. All right, it started to return some awards. So over time, this will go up. This number will go up. Um, I have managed to train something until like six score. Yeah, it took me some time. I will keep on training it. And um, let's, for now, um, let's stop this uh, and show you how to use this trained brain. Uh, so I'm going to just stop this because it's going to take some time. So you can just stop the game. Yes. And this will stop the game. And it says it the result is uh, saved under this folder. So we can go back and check yeah so this one was the the one that we did in success this one we have a mean award of 0 0.124 so this one uh we can of course use this brain so i'm gonna for now close this uh, by the way if you uh you can uh keep on resuming um the training um, that I also covered from the previous tutorial. Um, you can just do run this line instead of the previous line. You can say, uh, you can use the previous ID that you successfully trained. Maybe you trained around two hours. You already got some mean award up and you uh, for some reason you had to restart the computer or whatever, you can always resume the training. So you use it in that way so you can continuously train the same brain. All right, so we have this one. This one has a very little uh, mean award, but uh, regardless, let's try to use it. So let's go back and let's create a folder called TensorFlow models. And let's bring this one here. Yeah, and make sure they're all blue, otherwise it won't affect. Uh, let's go inside. All right, now in the ML agent, we can put our brain here. So Robert Richard, 
put your brain inside. Let's go back. And if now, if I play, even if I, I'm not training, they're going to use this brain. So look, so they are running and they're trying to reach it, but they're not doing it very well because the brain is not uh, trained very much. I have a previous version, uh, trained it for a while. So I'm going to check. Uh, so I managed to have it, uh, uh, have the mean award a little bit up to about, to about seven, yeah. Yeah, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyways, this has some more uh, trained time. So let's, I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to also share this brain in our shared folder. So I'm going to um, share that here. So I'm going to just replace it with a better trained one. So it's a, it's a better trained version anyways, yeah. Okay, and let's go back in there and change this to the new brain. Okay, so now if we play, <clears throat> hopefully we'll see a little bit more blue balls. So we see more blue balls, hopefully, yeah. <clears throat> They're still not very, very good, but uh, I'm sure it's better than the previous brain. Okay, so how, do you wanna maybe tweak something and just maybe uh, change this ball so you can move around by yourself? So let's uh, tweak this thing a little bit so you can use the brain uh, as you want. <clears throat> 